All right, shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, and Kakodash, the abundance of the apostles, and others of great millstone. And shalom on the Akimah, pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. Yeah, this lesson is just going to go into running that race, man. You know, running the race and finishing it. You, know, you had certain men that came into this truth, and they ran for a season and a duration, and they didn't finish it. And you know, guess what? They, they're not going to get the crown. Because you you have to run this unto the end, as it is written, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. So us brothers that have blood pumping through our uh, vessels, you know, we have a, a, a um, you know, generating spirit on this planet Earth. We're supposed to be working in the spirit of Yahweh, Shema, and Shah, especially those that put their hands to the plow. Really, that's the only um, ones that's, you know, qualified to, to you know, to uh, you know, stay in this, uh, um, you know, prophecies and, and then you know, doing the videos and, and, and getting into that is, is really the prophets, you know, the ones that actually put their hands to the plow. And it is others that you know may not fall into the lot of a prophet. What if you will help? You know, you got to keep your hand on that plow too. You know, the different talents that's written in Matthew that was, was required to um, be exchanged. You know. Were, were different aspects of uh, or the different talents that they possess in this truth, you know, which a talent is a gift from the most high, which also faith is a gift, you know, and he wants you to uh, build off of your faith, you know, as it is written to add to your faith in uh, Second Peter, the first chapter, you know, add to the knowledge, you know, virtue, temperance, back, uh, patience, you know, the list goes on and on. So, you know, that that's... Uh, the characteristic aspect of growing, and it's also a physical attribute, all right, when you actually run it. And this faith, faith going to the highways and byways actually th through action, you know, through charity, you know. And it's a, it, some men, they, they just stop stop going. They stop doing the work. They put the, uh, you know, they, they put the talent in a, in a napkin, you know, and they basically shut their vessels off, you know, which is the spirit of Yahweh by Shema was shot, and that's the... Uh, Parable of the uh, virgins in uh, Matthew the twenty fifth chapter. You know, five were wise, and five were uh, extremely foolish, man. Why? Because they didn't take no um, what say oil in their vessels. You know, knowing we're in a time of darkness, you have to have this word to comfort you. All right, and you have to do what the Lord uh, commanded us, which is, is is you know work while it is day. This is Galatians five and seven. Ye did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? Right. So you have certain men that came in this truth and they ran and they ran damn good in their in their striving paces, you know, in the in the beginning parts of that race. But as you know, the the duration of the uh, race started to continue, with perseverance and and endurance took place, you see that they were short. You they were short space or short bursts, short term. Israelites, man, they fell short, you know, they fell short of the glory, it don't matter if you ran one-fifth of the race, if you ran, you know, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, if you didn't run the five-fifths and finish that that race, then you ain't getting shit, you know, and and them men, they, they, were, they were on the tracks, and what, they got distracted, so now they're running in, in another direction, running in, in the spirit of the world. And really running from the light. Because if either you're running towards this truth or you're running away from it. And a lot of men are running away from this knowledge. All right. That's why, you know, some, it was even a guy that came to the camp one day and he was playing like he didn't know he was an Israelite. And he, he used to teach uh, around the time uh, with, with Bun Lawyer, you know, the, uh, um, you know, the, uh, and Daniela when it was a, um, you know, teaching, you know, around the time Bonley was alive, he was uh, teaching. And, you know, he was blazing. You know, actually, when you watch the video, like, man, you know you're an Israelite, but what, what he said, he said he was doing certain things he wasn't supposed to, and really the spirit, you know, casted him out, you know. And he basically, you know, like Scripture says, the morsel that thou shalt swallow, you shall vomit up, you know, which is this truth. This truth, Jake learned it, and they didn't digest it fully, you know, and they did it for a short span. So the Lord took that. Give me that talent. You know, and that's why we have to continue so that the Lord doesn't take our talent or our crown. You know, that's significance of, of this truth and embracing it. So it says a little leaven, leaven, 
the whole lump, which that's a major aspect why a lot of men fall out because they get leavened. What does it say? Not a novice, lest being puffed up with not with pride, you fall into the condemnation of the devil. You know, it's a, and a lot of nov novices uh, fall off. You know, sometimes men in uh, you know, in the latter years of the truth, but it usually uh, all stems from pride. It tells you that in the book of Sirach how pride is the beginning when one departed from his maker, and you start to see it through uh, you know, a man whether it's the accusations that he put, you know, him scoffing or murmuring, you know, and, you know, he, he not doing with things that the Lord, you know, how the Lord told you to do. Because if you have a problem, the scripture says to go to the, go to thy brother, you know, but a lot of Jakes don't want to reconcile because they don't want to continue in his truth. You know, it says if they were of us, uh, they're not of us because if they were with us, you know, if if they were of us, they would still be with us. But um, let me get this in. Let me Second Timothy four and five. Second Timothy four. Uh, F and five, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of your ministry. Yeah, and that that ministry that you make full proof, you got to make it full proof unto the end. Like I said, he, as it is written, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be shall be saved. You know, and it's always this key word in the scriptures. All right, to finish. You know, it says the Lord had um. You know, after he passed, he said it is finished, and even Paul himself. He spoke about how he finished his course. All right. So you, you got to run, but you also have to finish it. You know, let me uh, get that. Yeah, Acts 20 and 24. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Yahweh Shah to testify the gospel of the grace of the Most High. Right, so you you fight and you go through it and you finish it. Alright. And it's men that men that got in this fight and they couldn't finish it. And guess what? We we uh, uh mock them mock them and, and get on them. You know, because what? Those men put their hand to the plow and they look back. And there, that's the parable in Peter's where it speaks about how the pig, you know, goes back into the to the muddy, murky, basically shit, you know, after he was clean. That's him coming into the knowledge and going back to the world. All right, Luke 14. Oh, and you have examples of men, even in the scriptures. Demas, for example, Hymenaeus and Philetus. What did, what did Paul say? Demas have forsaken me, having loved this present world, you know. So this is Luke 14 and 28. For which of you intending to build a tower? Sit if not down first and count up the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it. Right. And if you're going to build a tower, you got to make sure you have the, the material. You got to make sure you have the manpower. You got to make sure you have the proper structure so that tower can be uh, durable. You know, you got to make sure that everything is on point with that tower. And if you don't have it, that tower is not going to be built. All right, a partial built tower, and it tells you that even in the scriptures, how uh, a man, uh, a man uh, with no rule over his spirit is like a broken tower, you know, because it's it's an easy way of uh, where demons could enter, you know, the enemy, and really you build a tower, you know, through through the spirit. This word is a defense, you know, and we we'll say we stand on our our, our top tower in uh, Habakkuk. That tower. The Lord's name. The Lord's name is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and it's safe. And a lot of men depart from the Lord. Which that's what gets, you know, the, the tower access to be broken asunder. Verse 29, less happily after he have laid the foundation, that's that running well, and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. Yeah, so you get on Jake. You know, you Jake's that, that fell off. You know, you stop, stop doing it. Where you at, man? You you forsake the Lord. You know you have the time. You have the uh, uh you know, the opportunity. The highways and byways is everywhere. You got access to the book. You know, scripture say uh, uh 
you know, return unto me, saith the Lord. But these guys, they 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 running, man. You know, they're basically fugitives and vagabonds like them Esau. They they they're black Edomites. Yeah, is your father the devil? You know. So continuing on, saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king go to make war against another king? Sit if not down first, consult to whether he be able with ten thousand to meet with that him that cometh against him with twenty thousand, or else while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth an ambassage and desire conditions of peace. So likewise, who whosoever he be of you that forsake if not all that he have, he cannot be my disciple. Right, and Jake likes to pick up the things of the world, and when you pick up the things of the world, it doesn't balance in hand. With the spirit of the Lord, you got to put something down. You know, you can't hold this book and the, uh, um, you know, the, the, the uh, you know, like I said, you can't serve the Most High and Mammon. So one, you have to keep and grasp tight, and one you have to uh, set, you know, set aside. You know, Scripture says, "Thy right hand defend you, cut, cut it off." And it speaks about, you know, red pill, blue pill. Behold, I, uh, I've given unto you, uh, you know, life and death. Choose. It's the choice. The choice is yours, and a lot of guys choose to fall off. You know, that's why it's for the elect. You know, Paul said he endured everything for the elect's sake, not a fall off. You know, so we are, you know, got to continue and continue on to the end. You know, we are not them as uh, like them that actually look back, but we believe in the saving of the souls. All right, so I want to end by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Shah by Shem, Kakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone. Shalom, Almighty.